Welcome back. Greg quit. I'm Kat. So, you know who had a big week? Locker rooms. This was locker room talk. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I apologize to my family. I apologize to the American people. Certainly, I'm not proud of it. But this is locker room talk. You know, when we have a world where you have ISIS chopping off heads. It's true. ISIS is bad. ISIS is very bad. But Donald Trump's comments were bad, too. And setting the precedent that you can just brush off anything bad by saying, oh, it's not like it's ISIS, is no way to live. What is it teaching our children other than how to make dumb excuses? Honey, you were late for dinner. Yeah, Mom, I know. I'm sorry to my family, but I was playing baseball with Timmy, not chopping off heads with ISIS. <laughs> just because something is not ISIS doesn't mean it's not bad. Take this diagram, for example. On the left, ISIS. On the right, not ISIS. Cheating on your wife, rape culture, the common cold when the deli is out of egg salad. All of these are things that we need to have the freedom to talk about as being bad without hearing, well, at least it's not ISIS. If you can't understand this, I bet you're really bad at playing Would You Rather. You normally put things that go together together. It'll be like, would you rather have a head cold for two weeks or strep throat for two days? And not, would you rather have a head cold or have your whole head blown off by a terrorist? Everyone already knows that chopping off a head is worse than any combination of words put together. Of course, the real problem isn't the words Trump said, it's the context. That's obvious. At least I thought it'd be obvious until I saw this garbage. I mentioned yeah, rap music rap, because rap it's music. full of the F word, the P word, the, the B word, the A word. Hillary Clinton expresses that she finds the language on that bus horrific. But in fact, she likes language like this, quote, I came to slay, bitch. When he F me good, I take his ass to Red Lobster. Did she say that? That, that happens to oh, be Beyonce a line from Beyonce. That. Yeah, I know. That's Her Beyonce's. Her favorite performer, whom she says she idolizes and would like to imitate. <laughs> Either Betsy McCoy was really looking out for the 4% of people of a shellfish allergy, or she's completely and totally insane. Although, uh, have you been to Red Lobster lately? Because even the people who do have a shellfish allergy can still enjoy the delights of a delicious Cheddar Bay biscuit. It's the best thing in the world. Show me someone who says they don't love Red Lobster's Cheddar Bay biscuits, and I'll show you a liar. Anyway. The issue isn't the P word or the B word or the A word. It's about Trump bragging about how cool it is that powerful men can get away with groping women who can't do anything about it because they're so powerful. It's a power dynamic that's real, sick, and disgusting. You know what's real, not sick, and not disgusting? Enjoying an intimate moment with a person and then enjoying some Cheddar Bay biscuits. <laughs> or perhaps enjoying both at the same time if you like takeout. Don't judge me. Finally. <laughs> All right, we're all in agreement that this election season is crazy, and I totally understand why so many people are complaining about it, but that's distracting us from complaining about, complaining about all of the other bad seasons that we're in. Cold and flu season. Too cold to get out of the shower season. Chap lip season. Leaving work when it's already dark out, making you feel like you are a slave to your job season. Did you get a flu shot yet every time you go to the pharmacy just to buy some Chex Mix and a vitamin water zero season? Having to wear socks season. Having to realize you have exactly one of every different kind of sock season. Pale skin season. Actually, for me, that's all the seasons. <laughs> we need to remember to complain about the little things. If you're going through something awful, just focus on freaking out about all the little things, and I promise you, you'll forget all about it. If that doesn't work, Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Thank you. Can I get an exclamation point? Yeah. Exclamation point. Thank you, Kat. I can't believe they gave the Peace Prize to Bob Dylan and not you. I know. One day.